For a year that otherwise seemed pretty quiet, Arctic Cat has forged ahead in the snowmo industry and taken leaps and bounds in the right direction with their all new Procross chassis. And the lingering question on everyone's mind is did they hit their mark? From all indications within the industry and throughout the dealer networks, it would seem that Arctic has revived reluctant buyers, awoken Firecat loyalists, and regained those with green undies who sought thrills elsewhere when the older, heavier F chassis was their only option. And if you've spent any time out on the trails, you'll realize there's a lot more green than we've seen for years. The plague of new snowmobile designs has always been the first year quirks that need to get worked out. Whether it be calibration settings, durability issues, or just plain old broken parts, doesn't matter what manufacturer you are, in the first year, there's always issues. Today, we're ringing out the 2012 Procross 800 Snow Pro 50th Anniversary Edition. While initially, the 800s were supposed to have electric start as an option, Arctic wisely decided to pull their electric option on all 800 equipped sleds. While some may see this as a negative, we see it as a wise choice keeping more sleds out on the trails and less in the shop. Pulling over the 794cc twin does take a little oomph, but the battery-less EFI system never seems to skip a beat and will almost always start on the second pull, no matter how cold the sled is. Right up front, let me be honest, this motor is not as happy at startup as its competitors and takes a lot of guff for being a little bit of a smoker when started cold. However, the throaty notes coming from the exhaust and intake let you know this kitty cat means business when you roll into the mid-range and top-end power. The bottom end of the 800 is very soft, and it leaves you wondering if there's much more left under the hood. It suffers from noticeable vibrations at low end, but the interesting thing is, the harder you push this motor, the better it gets. As you lay into the power of this 800, it becomes noticeably happier and you're reminded of the 163 reasons this motor reigns as the most powerful in the biz. The CAT's register is high, and our untouched 800 will handily outrun both the Polaris and Skidoo in full throttle runs. It'll use more fuel and oil than the aforementioned sleds, but it's got more horsepower on tap, and the fire needs to be fed. The ergonomics of the Procross bring us back to the Snow Pro roots, and feel every bit the part keeping you in control and making you feel like a pseudo racer, especially on this 50th anniversary edition. While the seat foam density is a little soft and could stand to be raised up a few inches, the ergonomics and chassis design bring with it bragging rights. While being perched in the rider forward attack position, the tapered tunnel just seems to mold your body, increasing comfort and control. Sight lines from the cockpit are unrestricted, no matter when you're standing up or when positioning your loin chops off to the side. The skis stay light, allowing you to aggressively and precisely attack a corner that comes rushing towards you. While I am a fan of the Uber Trick Fox Float Evol X, in the past, the more basic Float and Float 2 have come up a little short in the aggressive handling department. But this isn't the past. After the first pit stop on this sled, I noticed right away, I had nothing negative to say about the front suspension. In fact, everyone that rides this sled can't believe the smooth bump compliance you get with air spring suspension. But the reduction in shock travel stiction isn't the sole hero in this story. The engineers in Thief River deserve a lot of credit to the design of the one-piece forged aluminum spindles and ARS suspension geometry. Up front, it lacks nothing and chews up bumps like it ain't no thing. The area I did notice needed calibration was the rear end. As I mentioned earlier, the seat foam is a little too soft and the factory suspension settings leave a lot to the rider's imagination. The floating front arm skid can and does work well. It did in the F chassis, so it's only a matter of playing with the rear spring settings. After much adjusting, we have found a good compromise setting, but believe the rear ends in the 128 short track snow pros to be a little stiff when dropped down to the softest settings. The Procross is so much lighter and nimbler feeling than its predecessor. Through the bumps, you can grab a handful of throttle and not for a second does this sled leave you feeling out of control. This thing's got Snow Pro written all over its soul. Previous cats left you feeling as though you were riding a cumbersome sled. The Ergos, Suspension, and Power Trifecta of the Procross does not. Lightweight is the name of the game, as even the lines and design characteristics scream minimalist. In my humble opinion, the new cats are the best looking sleds in the business, 
and when you pull into the local gas stop or burger joint, heads turn and the tinted visors get dropped as everyone admires the industrial finesse of plastic and aluminum. I've said it once and I'm gonna say it again, 2012 is the year of the cats. And as with all new designs, there's gonna be some wrinkles that need to be ironed out. But this Procross 800 limited edition Snow Pro puts up one heck of a hard fight and doesn't leave the competition any room for error.